Hello, spirited viewers, and welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. On today's show, we are featuring beloved canine companions from all around the globe who delight us with their amazing talents. Some of them can sing, some can dance, and some will entertain us with their athletic abilities. All the adorable dogs we meet today have one thing in common. They perform from their heart as an expression of love to their human family. How do we teach a dog to do tricks? The key lies in having a loving relationship with our animal companion, who will then be very eager to learn new ways to make us happy. It is also important to make the learning process fun, keep practice sessions short, use plenty of praise, and have small treats on hand to reward your furry friend for a job well done. Sometimes you can even teach your dog to wait for his treat, like Zen, the very patient golden retriever. For our animal companion to perform well, we'll need to ensure he is in peak physical condition. What diet is best to keep up his excellent health? We now let's meet some cool animal companions from around the globe who love to entertain us with their talents. Some dogs are like Rory, an energetic young canine who just loves sports. He is happiest when he and his caretaker play catch with the frisbee. Rory especially knows how to put on a good show for a crowd. All right, here we go. Music starting. It's showtime. Looks like a long one is coming. Over the flags and into the sky. I got it. All right. I am feeling so good. What a workout. Okay, here it comes again. Man, I just love this sport. Watch this jump, folks. Many dogs enthusiastically perform tricks which allow them to get plenty of exercise. Some kinds of dogs, such as border collies, simply love to run, jump and climb. One sport which has gained much popularity is called dog agility, in which the happy canine races through an obstacle course. Let's watch Strider as she takes us on a tour of her favorite agility course. I like to start with a few jumps through this ring, just to loosen up. Then it is off to pole weaving. This requires a lot of agility and strength. See how I have to carefully put down one paw on one side of the pole and the other on the other side? Now it is up and over, and then through the tunnel. I need to step a bit more slowly down this narrow walkway. Just a quick rest before I leap over these bars. One more time back over the bars. Alright, that's the course. What fun! Beware of saying that a dog has two left feet. Otherwise, Fred Astaire, another beautiful border collie in New Zealand, will prove you otherwise with his superb dance skills. If I stick really close, she'll know I want to dance. So up on my hind legs I'd go, it's time to boogie. The best part is when I weave around her legs. Let me try singing as well.
Want to see what else I can do? I know how to play dead. And roll over. And I can even wash my face too. While some dogs love the act of life, others prefer sports requiring great concentration. One such dog is Cherry, a magnificent golden retriever from Formosa or Taiwan. Time to focus. Put the apple just slightly higher on my nose. Yes, that's it. And now let it go slowly, slowly, slowly. Now be amazed while I balance this apple. It takes great focus and concentration. Perfect. This is the Zen of balancing. After an intense morning of concentration, Cherry likes to just kick back and have some fun, especially on a warm, sunny day. The sun is beautifully bright today. I think I'd better put on my cool shades. That's my daddy on the other side of the street. I bet he'll love my new sunglasses and scarf. Let me just adjust it a tad. Perfect. Let's take a short visit over to Taipei to meet Chin Chin, a bouncy brown poodle who is willing to jump through all kinds of hoops just to show her caregiver her love for her. My mom holds this colorful hoop so I can run and jump to my heart's content. We have such fun together. I bark to let her know that I enjoy playing this game with her. Two hoops, double the fun. Here we are, posing for Supreme Master Television. Hello, we love you! When your canine children fall in love, what is there to do but prepare a proper wedding, of course? I always thought he was handsome, but in his black tuxedo he looks absolutely adorable. I promise to stay by your side for the rest of my life. I'm so glad he agreed to get married on the beach. It is so romantic. Our animal companions may try many imaginative ways to show us that they want to play. Let's hear how Amitabha Buddha accomplishes this. Although he loves to play, Amitabha Buddha is also a most respectful and sincere canine. <laughs> what a holy dog! Some dogs are not only into fun and games, but like to be helpful as well. Let's see how Bertie likes to lend a helping paw to her family. I'll have to remember when I get to the market to pick up a red rose from mom. And dad said he wanted two apples. And I am totally out of doggy treats. Supreme Master Ching Hai, internationally renowned author of the number one best-selling books, The Dogs in My Life, The Birds in My Life, and The Noble Wilds, has adopted 10 dogs and 23 birds. Her books provide a window into the inner world and intelligence of our animal co-inhabitants. Oftentimes, Supreme Master Ching Hai's rescued animals surprise her with their intuitive understanding of human language, even without prior training. For example, one time I was in Spain. I have a house near the neighbors. And suddenly the neighbor came out to say hello, and all the five dogs barked very loud. But I shielded them behind the, the gate, you know? And I came out in the yard, let them in the gate because I'm doing something outside the other gate. <laughs> 
and suddenly say, Shh, good neighbor, no. All of them, Bzzz. I just say, good neighbor, no. Bzzz. Immediately, all of them stop. It's like orchestra, you know, when, when you wave the stick. Stop, dead silence. And the neighbor was very, very impressed. <laughs> Can you imagine if the dog tell you to sit and stay, would you even understand anything? No. Or even the birds, they understand, but you don't understand them. You see what I mean? How smart they are. And they are such, so peaceful. They are born to color our life, not to be killed and eat. We are grateful for all the magnificent animal companions who brighten our days with their love and exceptional talents. Through their tricks, they infuse us with their pure hearts, joyful nature, and help us to better understand their amazing intelligence. Happy viewers, thank you for joining us today for Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for enlightening entertainment right after noteworthy news. May you be blessed with inner tranquility and divine love. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash AW.